my name is Ian Forte, and I'll be presenting on the infectious disease known as botulism. So I'll be covering the definition, history, forms, causes, symptoms, who's affected by botulism, diagnosis, treatments, experiment, and prevention. So botulism is a paralytic illness that's caused by a neurotoxin that's produced by Clostridium botulinum. And Clostridium botulinum is a group of bacteria that grows best in low oxygen conditions and they're found in spores and they survive in dormant state until exposed to conditions that can support their growth, such as the human body. And this is a picture of the bacteria. And it's rod shaped. So botulism was originally termed sausage poisoning. It was first seriously studied in Germany in 1793 after an outbreak. And it was given its name after this Latin word botulus, which means sausage. Um, the founder of botulism, his name was Justinus Kerner. He was a doctor and poet from Germany. He was the first to discover botulism after an outbreak where 13 people became ill and six died after eating a local produce known as blood sausage. And this is a picture of Dr. Kerner. There are five main forms of botulism, which are foodborne, infant, wound, adult intestinal toxemia, and iatrogenic. So foodborne botulism is caused by eating food that contains the Clostridium botulinum bacteria. And the most common ways of contracting foodborne are from home canned foods like asparagus, green beans, corn, peaches, and basically foods that have low acid levels. This is a picture of home care features. Symptoms of foodborne botulism appear within 12 to 36 hours after you've been infected. And um, symptoms are cranial neuropathies, which means the nerves in the brain or brain stem are disrupted, respiratory muscle weakness, which just means a hard time breathing, and paralysis, which means uh, the muscles. This is a boy showing symptoms of food form botulism. He has drooping eyelids. Infant botulism is caused by ingesting the spores of the Clostridium botulinum bacteria. And the bacteria can be found almost anywhere. It's in soil and dust. It can be found in many places in a household, such as carpets, floors, and countertops. And also, honey can contain the Clostridium botulinum bacteria so it's unsafe for infants. Symptoms of infant botulism are not being able to suck or swallow, hypotonia, which means a decreased muscle tone, a weak cry, ptosis, which means drooping of the eyelids, a floppy neck, or a respiratory compromise, which just means trouble breathing. This is an image of a baby showing the symptoms of hypotonia. It's very weak. Wound botulism is caused by toxin, the Clostridium botulinum bacteria, entering the wound and infecting it. It can be caused by street drugs, which means drugs that are administered illegally, administered illegal, and they contain the bacteria. Another way of um, contracting wound botulism is from injecting heroin into the muscles, and it can lead to in the botulism infection. Symptoms of wound botulism are difficulty swallowing or speaking, facial weakness, where the double vision, drooping eyelids, trouble breathing, and paralysis. Adult intestinal toxemia botulism is one of the rarest forms. It's contracted in the same way as infant botulism, which is by adjusting the spores of the botulinum. Symptoms are, are similar to foodborne, which is cranial neuropathies, paralysis, and muscle weakness, but there's also bowel abnormality. Iatrogenic botulism. So iatrogenic means an illness caused by medical examination or treatment, and in this case, it's Botox. And it can be caused by injection ingesting the Clostridium botulinum bacteria in the body for cosmetics 
purposes such as Botox. And if the Botox contains the bacteria, then you can actually inject it straight into your body. And it co it's caused by non-grade Botox that contains the bacteria. Symptoms of iatrogenic botulism include respiratory muscle weakness, cranial neuropathies, paralysis, difficulty swallowing or speaking, blurred vision, and juvenile violence. So who's affected by botulism? It can occur in all age groups, but mostly infants. Children under one year of age are most affected. Infant botulism is the most common form of botulism, and it's 75% of cases per year, which is 71 cases. Wound botulism is most common in the UK because of the high levels of heroin users, and other forms of botulism are most common in places like Australia because of their food king style. Diagnosis. Observing symptoms associated with, with botulism are first in diagnosing, but then a stool sample can be taken and tested for the Clostridium botulinum bacteria. Other tests like gastric secretions, which means checking the stomach for the bacteria, or vomitus, which means checking the vomit of the patient can be used and tested for the Clostridium botulinum bacteria. But wound botulism is diagnosed through a culture or a blood sample and tested for the bacteria. The treatment for um, botulism is antitoxin therapy. Um, it's the only specific treatment for botulism. It can stop the progression of paralysis and decrease the duration of it. It has a case fatality rate of less than 2%, so it's almost always successful. And the antibodies, it works, right? the antibodies bind to the toxin that are floating in the bloodstream and neutralize them. And the treatment takes weeks to months to be effective. An experiment was conducted by Jeremy Sobel and other scientists and was called a novel strategy for development of recombinant antitoxin therapeutics tested in a mouse botulism model. And they found that if we bind antibodies to the toxin, then it can be cleared from the body. So prevention. Foodborne botulism can be prevented by following strict hygienic steps when home canning foods and by keeping baked potatoes wrapped in aluminum foil refrigerated because they have spores that can contain the botulinum bacteria and boiling home canned foods before eating them to kill bacteria. Um, infant and adult intestinal toxemia is very hard to prevent. The bacteria can be found almost anywhere, but the best way is to avoid honey and infants because it can contain the bacteria. Prevention of wound botulism is to never inject street drugs and always go to a legitimate hospital. And prevention of iatrogenic is to not get Botox. So in conclusion, botulism is an ignored disease. It can be easily contracted and can be fatal without treatment. But there are several ways of contracting botulism, so people should be aware to prevent themselves from getting this disease. That's my reference list. Acknowledgements. And now I will open the floor to any questions, comments, or questions.
means getting a disease from trying to get other like Bacteria can be found all anywhere, but it, I don't know how exactly it would get into the drugs, but if you inject it into your muscles, then you'll be infected with the toxins. Um, From where did the disease originate? I actually didn't cover that in my research, but I did that. Boston? Um, I found an article, but it didn't really tell me exactly what. 